Hello, I'm Mark Leno. I have had the great honor to serve San Francisco for four years as county supervisor, six years as state assembly member, and eight years as your state senator. Together, we have accomplished some incredible things for women and families across the city and throughout the state. I was proud to author legislation making California the first state in the nation to raise our minimum wage to $15 an hour, giving 5.6 million workers a raise and lifting over 2 million Californians out of poverty, including the disproportionately high number of women that make up minimum wage earners. When City College was in the depths of its accreditation crisis, I was able to secure $120 million in stabilization funding to save City College so that we could live to provide free city today. As mayor, I would like to take that a step further and duplicate what Long Beach has done with the Long Beach Promise. For students who complete their AA at City College, San Francisco should provide free state so that City College graduates can finish their BA at no cost. As mayor, this will be a top priority. We can call it the San Francisco Promise. We also know that here in California, we rank 50 out of 50 states in participation of food stamp programs. That's why I authored legislation removing hurdles like requiring fingerprints for eligibility to assist many more to finally benefit from this critical safety net. I was also privileged to work with a coalition of domestic violence advocates to author legislation protecting survivors so they can break their residential leases to allow them to make a safe exit from their homes. It was my honor to have authored the bill which removed from all state statutes the term battered women's syndrome, and we replaced it with intimate partner battering. The former inferred that it was a characteristic of the woman which brought upon her the violence from her partner. How we describe a crime should never further victimize the victim. I was also particularly proud to author California's single-payer universal health care bill, not once, but twice, moving the ball down the field so that we can soon provide meaningful health care to every Californian. San Francisco could also lead the nation in providing universal mental health care to address the growing crisis facing so many on our streets today. I'm running for mayor because I'm convinced that it's time for a new direction at City Hall. On June 5th, voters will have a clear choice between fundamental change and the status quo, a status quo which is not working for any of us. Our crises of homelessness, housing affordability, the crime and the conditions on our streets are all out of control. I'm the only candidate in this race who has released a plan, a detailed plan, to end homelessness by 2020. It's time for City Hall to make this the top priority that it is, reject cynicism, and finally demand results. As the author of San Francisco's affordable housing mandate, known as the Inclusionary Zoning Ordinance, we have built many, many thousands of below market rate units in recent years but we need to do much more. I will ensure that any new market rate development that receives any public benefit will be required to provide a higher percentage of affordable units. Nothing less will serve our needs at this time of crisis. I'm honored to have the support of U.S. Senator Kamala Harris, our State Controller Betty Yee, our soon-to-be State Treasurer Fiona Ma, six of the 11 members of the Board of Supervisors, six of the seven members of the City College Board of Trustees, the United Educators of San Francisco, the Harvey Milk LGBT Democratic Club, and the Alice B. Toklas LGBT Democratic Club, the Sierra Club, and the number one endorsement of the San Francisco Party, Democratic Party. It would be my honor to have your vote on June 5th.